Welcome to the lecture on deep reinforcement learning. In this video, we extend our previous discussion and go to actor critic networks, in particular the so called advantage actor critic networks. So, in the previous videos, we have seen that the output is a the, the, the network has two sets of outputs. There is an action output in the first network, and then there's a value output. Now, the way that reinforce with subtraction of a baseline estimated this V value was the Monte Carlo estimation methods. Monte, Monte Carlo estimation methods are not the only possibility. We have seen that we can also estimate the V values using the TD error method. What is the TD error? The TD error compares the momentary reward and the V value in the next state with the V value in the current state. And as we have seen, this is sort of the core of the consistency equation of the cons consistency condition of the Bellman equation. Now, so the structure of the network is now very similar to reinforce with baseline. The difference is just in the way we estimate these v-values. So we can call this a reinforce algorithm with TD bootstrapping for the estimation of the bias, for the estimation of the v-value. So let's compare this actor critic with the reinforcement reinforce algorithm with baseline subtraction that we have seen in the previous video. So Sutton and Barton call this version here, where we use the TD error, the actor critic network. Some people call it the advantage actor critic, and they would also call the reinforce with baseline subtraction that was presented in the previous video an actor critic architecture. Both are sort of actor critic. The V value is sort of the critic. And let's really now compare these two algorithms. So here I compare the advantage actor critic, the one with that I just discussed, with the reinforce with baseline. So what's the aim? The aim of the actor is to update parameters theta of the policy and the policy, the outputs of the network are these different action choices. These action choices depend on parameters and these are the parameters we want to optimize so as to maximize the return. Now, in this actor critic or advantage actor critic, the update step is proportional to the TD error. Reward plus value in the next state minus the value in the current state. And when I say value, the value is really what's calculated by the critic, by the second network. The aim of the critic is to estimate this V value, and it does this using TD learning. Now, this gives rise to an online algorithm. Let me explain what I mean by this. As we move along, I start in state S, and as we move along, here I get my reward, and I'm in next state S prime. At this state, I have the information. I can read out the value of the critic, in state st plus one. I've memorized the value in the previous state. So now I have all the, and I have seen the reward. So I have all the information necessary to update my parameters. Now, this same delta updates can also be used to update the V value. So 
update of the v-values is standard TD learning. Update of the parameters theta in the policy is standard policy gradient method. They are combined here in this actor critic network. Now let's compare this with reinforce with baseline. How does that look like? Well, the overall aim is exactly the same. The updated parameters theta of the policy Let me just erase this. The parameter theta of the policy. The aim of the critic is the same as before. We estimate the V values. So what's the difference? The difference is in the way this V values are estimated and in the way the parameters are updated. If I run a reinforcement with baseline and I start in this state S up here, I basically have to run to the end. I have to collect the different rewards at the different levels to calculate my return. And then at the end, I can, I have knowledge of the return. I know the return in this state, but I also know the return from this state and these are this is the information that's used to update the parameters and i can update the v values and i can update the parameters of this network so the difference really is in the way we estimate the v values and in the depth of the backup diagram I have to run to the end of the episode before I can update when I use reinforce with baseline, whereas I can update after a single transition if I use the advantage actor critic. Let's sum up with a little quiz and compare policy gradient and deep reinforcement learning. So you have a friend who claims the following? The question is, is she right? She claims. Even some policy gradient methods use V values. Well, yes, this is correct. V values for policy gradient can be calculated in a separate deep network. And yes, this is correct. We can have two separate networks. They may share a couple of layers. They don't have to. It's two different types of outputs, one for the actions and the second one for the V value. Third claim, the actor critic network has basically the same architecture as deep reinforce with baseline in both architectures one of the outputs represents the V values. Well, this is correct. Final claim, while advantage actor critic uses ideas from TD learning, reinforce with baseline does not. You may want to think about this. And yes, this is also correct. Reinforce with baseline uses an estimation of the V values, but it does not use this bootstrap trick of temporal difference methods. It just uses Monte Carlo estimation running towards the end of the episode before you update. So it does not exploit the TD learning. So this statement is correct.